How are you doing guys? It's your boy Dan Boy, back with another video. Today we are going to have a look at Warcraft logs. I will show you quickly how to upload logs, how to use the logs, how to analyze, look at your logs, how to see when you've cast what buffs, what abilities and so forth. In general we're just going to look at the basics so you can improve by looking at your own logs yourself. I have recently actually also started doing log reviews on my stream as well. So if you want a hand on that, I can show you there as well. Um, I do that mostly Wednesdays and Thursdays. As always, if you like this sort of content, warrior content primarily, make sure to hit that sub button down below. Throw me a like and a comment, it will be greatly appreciated. And as mentioned, I stream on Twitch, Wednesday, Thursday and <clears throat> Sunday from 7 to 11 p.m. Let's get into it. I'm gonna start out with showing you how to set up using logs. First of all, you have to go to system, you have to go to network, and then you have to click on advanced combat logging. After that, you go to your chat down on the left here, and you write slash combat log, and it will tell you combat being logged to logs. Last step, you open Warcraft Logs, which you download from their website. You log in. And then you can make a live log, so it actually updates automatically. And you call it something like tester. And you say go. And then it will be uploading the logs constantly, constantly to Warcraft Logs. You can also do the raid while you've been combat logging. And then you can go in and upload the log afterwards. And then it's going to search for all the logs you have, and then you can pick out what bosses you want uploaded on the website. But that was just a quick insight on how to set it up. Let's move on to analyzing logs. So you go to classic.workoflogs.com. Remember to click classic up here in the left corner. And then you get to this website. So this shows the recent raid, Temple of Ankirai. It shows progress, in different regions in the world. It shows the fastest speed kills, speed kills without world buffs, execution, top damage, DPS, Alondol, who has been dominating the every phase basically. And it also shows boss last trash damage and so forth. What you then want to do is you want to search on your name. We're going to use mine, of course, in this example. You're going to go to Danboy. And we then get to Danboy's page. Up here from the right, we have phase three and four in Molten Core. I was rank 5,000 something. In Blackwing there, I did really well. I started focusing on parsing and doing maximizing my DPS. I was actually uh, ranked 558 when phase four ended. And currently in, in phase five, I am top 2,000. Currently I have a best perfect average historically. That is 98.2, so we're getting there missing a couple more 99s and so forth and then you have some all-star points and so forth before we dig into the analytics what you can do for instance let's say Fancris, i still only have a 97 parts in this guy so what you can do is you can click on him and here you can actually see the what you need to do in dps to get a 99 on him so currently i am 140 ish dps away from getting that on Vanquish. Another thing up here, you can go to five, phase five with world buffs and you can do no world buffs as well. Obviously phase five with world buffs is the default one because everybody's using it now. So, or it always has been even. Anyway, going into the analytics, we are gonna look at, we are gonna look at the buck trio because here I use all my abilities we're going to click on it and we're going to click to my best parse here, my recent one as well from Sunday. And here we have the entire log from this kill. So it shows all the DPSers. Next, we are going to click on Danboy. Either you can click here or you can click up here. And then we can see I did over 1k DPS and my damage sources was mostly cleave. We were cleaving on this buck trio kill, so hence the majority of the damage coming from cleave, auto attacks, bloodthirst, whirlwind, etc. What we want to look at first is the cooldown usage 
that I did during this fight. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to buffs up here. And here we can see all the buffs I had during this fight. We're then going to click on the plus over here on Diamond Flask. So we get a bar of when I popped it and so forth. We're going to click on Recklessness. Basically, you can click on all abilities that you find interesting. Battle Shout is pretty interesting as well. Especially when you haven't had, when you don't have 100% uptime like I don't have here. On top of that, Mighty Rage, interesting as well. And of course, our Death Wish is a debuff on us, so it's going to be on the debuffs. So you click debuffs and you click plus on Death Wish. And now we have all the cooldowns I used during this fight. So what we are going to look at first and foremost is did I use my cooldowns to their full extent? The fight was 1 minute and 16 seconds, so an efficient use of Diamond Flask would be using it 15 seconds into the fight. So I had Diamond Flask for the entire duration of Execute Phase, as you can see here on the last ad. But I did use my Diamond Flask to the full extent though. A thing to note here, it's a cleaving boss, so you actually want to use all your cooldowns together on this guy when you're cleaving and not in the end like you usually do when there's only one guy. So I get in at around 10-ish seconds. What you can do here, you can click on this one and put it on main and then you can actually see do, from 10 seconds and onwards I had diamond flask up. And here I might, I probably pop recklessness clearly because my DPS is spiking com completely. So diamond flask was used properly. What you can then do, go to separate again and we can move on to the next longest cooldown, which is Death Wish. Death Wish was used at a decent time. Actually, I used it before Diamond Flask, which is a mistake. Obviously, you want to pop Diamond Flask, then Death Wish, then 10 seconds in into Death Wish, you want to use Mighty Rage, and then five seconds after, you want to use your Recklessness. So you have all four abilities up to go nuts with cleaving, especially on this fight. I screwed it up, as you can see. Um, I used Death Wish first, then Diamond Flask. And actually, I used my Wreck here, which was, I guess, a bad time as well. Because as you can see, my Death Wish runs out halfway through my Recklessness, which is a really bad thing. So I clearly have lots of stuff to improve for my next cleaving kill on the Buck Trio. Anyway, that's how you look at the, the cooldowns. As for Mighty Rage, I, used, I should have used that as well, together with my all other cooldowns here. Um, I tried to use it in the end here to get a big fat execute in, in the end, on the last add. Um, and I actually believe I, I dodged on that last attack on my execute, sadly. But it is what it is. Moving on to look at what cast you have made on the boss. You're gonna click up here on casts. And then you get a new bar up. As you can see, currently we have cleave up. I am cleaving. I could have been cleaving more, but I probably have been running around a bit here, hence the, the breaks in cleave, the pauses. Or maybe I've been, I haven't been bloodthirsty in between, it seems. But I have been whirlwinding, as you can see. So as we add more stuff, you can see that the small breaks, I've been doing whirlwind most of the time in between. And in the end, I use Heroic Strike at a decent pace because there's only one target left, as you can see. Vem is left. But to look even further into this, you see I have a gap here of 12 seconds. Why was this happening? Why didn't I do any abilities in the 12, first 12 seconds? To look into this is what you, go, what you do is you go up here to the right. You go to Replay. And now we're actually going to be able to see the fight, how it's been. I'm just going to close this so we can see the entire thing. And as you can see, the fight is 1 minute and 16 seconds. So as you can see, oh, we have to click on Damn Boy. Damn Boy, where are you? Oh, there we go. So you can see Damn Boy was out of the fight for a long time. He's coming in here from the left. He's taking his time. He's probably running because it wasn't mounted. And here he goes. And he starts hitting it 
at seven seconds. I could assume it was some aggro issues in the start. If you want to look closer into that, you can go back to the anal to analyzation here, and you can actually click on Danboy again. You can go to threat. And as you can see, I've actually been tanking Vem for around 17% of his uptime during the fight and Princess Yao for 13%. So I have had some threat issues clearly here, as you can see. Another thing I want to add to this replay thing. What I do personally to time my cooldowns better for next week or for this coming Sunday's speedrun is that I go to the... This is actually a bad example now that I think about it, but let's take Huhorn instead. Huhorn was a 51 second fight. So what I do to time my cooldowns is the following. I know the fight is going to be 51 seconds, so I know at around 20 seconds. Next time I'm at 20 seconds, preferably 2 or 3 seconds earlier because it's with Darkmoon Fair and so forth this coming week. Got to take into account the buffs that people can get some weeks. So at 19 seconds, Huhorn is at 79 to 80% HP. So for next week, I know at this time, at 80% HP on Huhorn, I will be popping Deathwish. Because then it will last me the rest of the fight. And the same I'll do for Mighty Rage Potion. If you want to use that during the fight and not use it for a big fat execute in the end. You go to 10 seconds ahead, so we are at 29 seconds now. And we can then see who Horn is at 58% HP here. So I'll write this down and I'll use that for next week as well. The same goes for Recklessness. If you have that up for Horn or you're planning on using it on Horn, you can go 5 seconds more forward. Because Recklessness has 15 seconds uptime. And at 35 seconds into the fight, who Horn will be at 43%. And I then know I should pop Recklessness at this time. I have actually also recently found a, um, a great weak aura that, um, where you can input these percentages. And it will then show you the icons of what ability you need to use. So I can definitely recommend that. I will be posting it on my Discord shortly. One of these coming days when I've tried it myself. But that is basically it. That is um, a quick look at your parses, your logs, and how to analyze what you did right, what you did wrong. If you have any questions or the like, please feel free to throw me a comment down below. A like and a sub would also be greatly appreciated if you're into this kind of warrior content. I do also stream on Twitch, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. plus 2 GMT, Denmark time. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a damn great day.